Hey, good morning, everybody. It's great to be with you all this morning. It is daybreak here in Southern California. Gorgeous, nice and calm, no wind, and it's not really all that cold. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us on Freeman Adventures. I really appreciate you spending a few moments with me while I get you up to date on the very latest. I got to tell you, I got to go back to yesterday because after I finished the morning briefing, I was just looking out here and I was saying, there's got to be some good surf fishing. Normally, you know me very well, I throw a chrome jig. But I said, that's it. I've had enough of this nonsense. There's a grunion run and that's tonight. But yesterday I was thinking there's a grunion run tomorrow. I have frozen grunion up at the house. I'm going to do a two hook rig and fish with grunion, pieces of grunion. So I did that and I went down a little bit further down toward Bolsa Chica, actually down toward Anderson and PCH. Tossed out and within a little bit I put it in the rod holder. My rod's going like this and it's a nice yellowfin croaker. I was hoping for a spot fin but it's a yellowfin croaker. I'm stoked, finally. Fish are biting. It's really looking good. So I had a little bit of a busy schedule. I started to walk back toward the house and I said, you know, I'm going to make one last try here. So I made a cast. I put my rod in the rod holder and I got kind of distracted and looked off in the other direction. And when I turned back around, my rod's not in the rod holder. I look out to see and it's like a freaking arrow. It's just going zzzz. It's, I mean, it looked like a marlin had a hold of it. It was just getting, and I sprinted as fast as I can sprint at my age and size and weight and everything. And I, I seriously grabbed that rod by the very end, barely got it, picked it up, and now I feel like, whoa. First of all, this is not a ray. Secondly, it feels like a really nice fish. So anyway, I end up with a 17 inch yellowfin croaker, sizable fish, no question about it. And I turn around and there's a woman standing there with her jaw dropped. And she said, wow, great reflexes. And I started to laugh. I said, you saw that? And she said, I did. That is really a nice fish. Man, I'll tell you, part of the problem was I didn't put the rod holder into the sand far enough. So when it got bit, it fell over and my rod was almost gone. It was a great morning and a memorable fish caught on my Daiwa Fuego 3000. A lot of fun, no question about it. All right, hey, it's daybreak, and you know what that means? There are guys out there right now who are bent on bluefin tuna, maybe some guys bent on sea bass. It's a gorgeous morning, it's the gray, and things are looking really, really good. So let's talk about two events before I get into the fishing. May 22nd, the Island Spirit out of Ventura Sport Fishing. We are on board. 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's a trip you should join us on. Give us a text at 657-227-6459 and sign up. That's going fast. And then, of course, May the 15th, we've got our jig fishing casting workshop at the Casting Pond Recreation Park in Long Beach, California. It's free. It's from 8 in the morning till 11 a.m. And then the after party will be right down the street at Shoals in Long Beach. Make sure you join us. It's a free event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Beginner, um, intermediate, expert. We want you all to show up. All right, let's go to San Diego where the bluefin tuna bite last night was again outstanding. Really great fishing going on, especially when you're chucking the iron out there, the flat falls, the knife jigs, those 100 to 200 grams. Those lures are working best, not the big ones, but the smaller ones seem to be really, really effective. A lot of 40 to 60 pound fish last night, and also some nice fish up over 100 pounds. Still have some 25 to 40 pound stuff also. Really great fishing going on down there. It is hit the group. Most of the boats getting limits, it seems like. Some of the guys missing a little bit, but most guys are getting limits, and it has been really outstanding fishing. If you're going to fish a fly line bait when the sun comes up or you're on one of the 6 a.m. boats this morning headed out, the fluorocarbon is a must. We love Opsin, 30 to 40 pound of good hot bait and you should be able to get the job done. A little bit of kelp patty yellowtail also around town so that also looking very very good and the bluefin tuna bite out of San Diego really 
outstanding. Right there off Ensenada, some of my Pongaro friends out of Ensenada are getting a piece of it also. There's not only fish there closer to Ensenada, but creeping up toward Point Loma also. Really outstanding. I'm sure guys are bit right now in the morning again. So nighttime fishing, excellent. Daytime fishing, pretty darn good also. And a lot of fish being taken on the troll. A lot of the private boater guys are getting bit on the troll also. Now, Coronado Islands, my good buddy, Sean Hardigan. Mission Bell, Point Loma Sport Fishing had a dozen yellows at the islands. That's starting to progress. Remember, we told you that it had been slow there, but slowly but surely, starting to get going he had whitefish rockfish few bass not bad at all so that is finally starting to come together the one day boats that are fishing the islands you do need a passport to do that the one day boats that are fishing the bluefin are still getting a piece of it and seeing a lot of fish some boats had just yellowtail yesterday i think the grande had 14 yellowtail but saw a lot of bluefin and over on the san diego they're getting the bluefin once again nice shot yesterday for them on the bft there's some yellows on kelps also that is just going to continue to progress and progress and progress don't miss our three trips on the malahini this year a little bit later on in the year but man those are going to be fun go to the malahini website malahinisportfishing.com and book a Friedman Adventures trip. They were a lot of fun. Bill Wilkerson does such a great job and his crew and we are looking forward to that. Now, same thing on those trips. San Diego, the Grande, all those guys. You want those smaller jigs right now. 100 gram, 200 gram. I like the 100. As long as it gets you down quick enough, that's going to work really, really well. Heavier line when you're fishing the iron. Okay, don't don't screw around. You might hook one that's over 100 pounds and then 30 to 40 pound when you're fly lining. That has been the ticket and things are looking pretty darn good there. Let's go to San Clemente Island where the Freedom took a look yesterday. I talked to my friend and Captain Tino Valentine and Tino said, Phil, we were just out tackled. I mean, we had some big fish and the structure really screwed us up. Some of the guys were using 20 pound mono and getting worked fast. So in the morning hours out there, you're fishing a dropper loop. You can fish as heavy as you want. In fact, fluorocarbon really isn't an issue there in the gray. So fish 60 pound if you want. You can fish fluoro, but you don't have to. So 60 pound, a big hook, at least a 5.0 and you know, a four ounce torpedo, whatever Tino says with the wind and current for that day. And then as the sun comes up, you're going to switch over and most of the time you're going to fish with a sliding egg sinker, fish 30 to 40 pound mono, probably 40. Okay. Because as we just mentioned, Tino says, guys, we're getting work. They ended up with six yellowtail and lost probably another 10 fish, something like that. Fishing overall, was tough yesterday, Tino said. You know, even on the rockfish, he said it wasn't all that great. But he did say two things that leave me very optimistic. One, the weather was absolutely gorgeous. Now, having said that, we're going to get a blip on the radar, it seems like, and we're going to have some windy weather out there tomorrow, but it'll settle down thereafter. You have to watch that weather for sure. That is one thing. And two, he saw more yellowtail than he has seen all year long. And that is saying a lot, a lot, because he's had up to around 40 yellows on some of his trips with sea bass and even thresher sharks, which is kind of unusual for SCI. So really good signal out there. Hopefully it's gonna get going. Watch the weather. I think it comes up on Sunday, but like Tuesday is gonna be beautiful in the area they've been fishing. And I'm hoping that's gonna to continue to progress and head in the right direction. Catalina Island, the pursuit. Well, they usually start out fishing the deep water, try to get you some nice rock fish and then move in along the kelp. Good rock fishing for the most part. You know, sheep's head, white fish, that kind of thing. Kelp line is starting to produce more and more calico bass all around Catalina Island. Lots of shorts, however, right now. And there's been a lot of short barracuda also, some bonita running around town. So hopefully the island will clean up a little bit. And by that, I mean, after that last blow we had, the water temperatures got cool, the water got off color, and it still hasn't rebounded from that. When it does, remember a few weeks ago, we already had a shot of white sea bass and yellowtail at Catalina Island. So once that happens, look out, cat will get going again. Along the coast, 
sculpin, rockfish, a few bass here and there. And that goes from Ensenada all the way up to the Channel Island area. Nothing really to write home about. We've seen a signal of Barracuda up and down the coast, but I'm not sure that's quite ready to happen. Maybe, we'll see. You know, water's starting to get a little bit warm once it gets up where we're 60 degrees. And once it gets up to like 63 degrees, then it's game on on the gar and hopefully they stick around for a little bit longer in this La Nina with this anchovy around. There's a lot of sardine around also, but there's quite a bit of anchovy around and we're hoping that the sand bass migration will manifest itself again after many, many years of not being around as well as the Barracuda. Barracuda in the past several years have shown up, but they just don't hang out very long. They just show up and then they're out of here. What we would like to see again is see those fish stick around for a little bit longer. Well, up there at Ventura Sport Fishing, we're gonna get some weather breaks. Unfortunately, where the sea bass have been taken, it's still pretty darn windy, but come Wednesday, it's gonna be gorgeous. And where the local guys are fishing, you know, like Santa Cruz Island, beautiful weather here today. Island Spirit on their way out, out of Ventura Sport Fishing, the Half Day California, both those boats will be running again tomorrow morning out of Ventura Sport Fishing. The old Matt Walsh, it's the California. And Steve Virtue is running that boat. Good friend of mine, capable fisherman, great guy, always with a great crew. You might want to jump on board. 805-676-3474. We'll see if they come up with any sea bass today. Hopefully they will. Of course, they've had that squid in the Channel Islands for several months. And that is the magnet that is bringing all of these game fish into that area. And we're talking halibut, white sea bass, and pretty soon you'll start to see more and more yellowtail. Love that area up there. Surf fishing, besides some crazy guys almost losing their outfits yesterday, vast improvement. Tonight, these beaches hopefully will be covered by those little grunion, those silvery little fish that move up on the beach. Spawning will take place tonight at 9.50. Always better, it seems like the second hour, so like 10.50 is when it should be good. And it's usually better the second and third nights. Tonight is the first night, and then you'll have second, third, and fourth nights of the grunion run. It's observation only, so you cannot touch those little things. Keep your grimy little paws off those poor little devils but it's a great night to take the kids out and show them the spectacle of nature and it's a great night also to fish because during grunion runs at night you know I, mean, I don't have to explain it to you you took high school biology the food chain the big ones come to eat the little ones and we've had some really epic nights on yellowfin croaker halibut and all kinds of other species during grunion runs so once again the grunion will be running this evening hopefully so everybody it's a beautiful saturday morning once again i thank you so much for joining us remember to follow us on TikTok, instagram and facebook subscribe on our youtube channel as so many of you have thank you so very much for doing that and don't forget those two big events coming up may the 15th sunday it's a free event up your casting game with us in Long Beach at Recreation Park at the Casting Pond, the guys from the 540 Slingers Club, Jeff Yeomans, Danny, all those great guys. Really, really great to be working with such quality, great human beings, and they'll be there to help you out. Sam De La Torre and his staff from Island Fishing Tackle in Carson, California, they'll be there. On a down note, I'll be there, but you'll have to put up with me. Remember, I like my coffee black. If you just want to come down and shoot the spit, Come on down, we can do that. Or if you can't make that event, right after the after party with Chef Jason at his place, Shoals in Long Beach. That starts at 11.30. God only knows how long that will go to. He's got all kinds of great food. You want a cold beer, you can get that. Cup of coffee, you can also do that and really enjoy yourself. So that's it, my friends. Hey, do me a favor. Make sure you share a Friedman Adventures podcast or video with someone you like or someone you don't like. Really doesn't matter to me. And thanks again for all your great support. We really, really appreciate it. Looks like a gorgeous way to start the weekend this beautiful Saturday morning. Thank you again for joining us and I will see you again soon right here on Friedman Adventures. <laughs>